Today I'm going to show how easy it is to set up a battery test with a Celtron Advantage digital battery tester. For each step, you'll use navigation buttons to toggle through the menus. And when required, alpha numeric information is entered. There are also hotkeys to take you directly to the most frequently used functions. Start by pressing the power button to turn the tester on. After the tester boots up, check the battery health icon to see how much charge you have. Since the battery icon is only partially black, I can see that this tester isn't fully charged. A fully charged Advantage Digital is good for 8 to 12 hours of continuous use. Once you've confirmed your tester is charged, we're ready to start testing. Toggle to the battery test menu to choose a new or existing site. If you select existing, then everything we are about to go over will already be set up. We'll start by setting up a new site. You can toggle between entering numbers and letters with this button. First, enter and save the site name. Then the plant name. Then the string name. And finally, the tech ID. When you're filling in any of these fields, just hit the F2 key for backspace to clear any mistakes and then enter the correct letter or number. Now you're ready to set up the battery test. First, enter the number of batteries or jars. The default is 24. Next, choose the nominal voltage for batteries or cells you are testing. Then you're going to set the thresholds for the alarms for voltage, temperature, and conductance. You can choose the defaults or edit the default values. Next, choose the number of tests per cell based on your company policy. For example, in a situation like this with three sets of posts, your policy may be to test each set of posts or just do one test across the cell. Just drill down to the menu and select the option you prefer. In this example, I'm just going to do one test. Next, choose a number of strap intercell connector tests. For example, if I wanted to test each intercell connection, I would set this up to do three strap tests. And I'll see a graphic on the display that matches the configuration I'm testing. Or if your policy is not to do any strap tests, you would just leave this at none. The next step is entering the reference value for your test. I already know my reference value, so I'm going to go ahead and key it in. If you don't know how to establish a reference value, check out our Franklin Grid Solutions University video entitled Establishing Reference Values. Now select your test type. You have three choices. If you have to check voltages on a monthly basis, you choose volts. The default choice is volts and conductance, where the tester takes the voltage reading and then does conductance reading. The third choice is volts then conductance, which will let you take all the voltage readings of all the cells or batteries first and then do the conductance readings. Then the tester puts the two readings together. This is a setting you would want if you're worried about voltage creep. Voltage creep is more common on strings with two or four 12 volt batteries. Voltage creep can occur when you're using an ohmic tester like the Advantage Digital. The Advantage Digital injects a signal into the battery and turns on a load resistor for a few seconds, taking some energy out of the battery under test. When you're using a constant voltage charger, it increases the charge current to the battery string to compensate for this voltage drop. The current goes to all batteries in the string, not just the battery under test, because the batteries are in series. This is repeated for each battery you test in the battery string. The result? You see the voltage readings for each battery increase as you move through the string. So don't forget, volts than conductance if you're concerned about voltage creep. Finally, choose either save and test or save and exit. If you choose save and exit, all this site's information is saved, so then when you do go to this site to test, you can pick it as an existing site from that initial menu. Thanks for watching, and remember your Celtron Advantage Digital User's Guide also has complete step-by-step -step instructions.